My Hebrew Israelite sisters and brothers, I hope you all are doing great today. Today, I'm going to give you the, the Ten Commandments. And I'll tell you something. Uh, it's so hilarious. When I looked online to find the Ten Commandments, I got the movie by Charlton Heston. Then I rewrote it and said that I would like the Ten Commandments written out. And I still got a picture of Charlton Heston in the movie. It mean, I mean, it was like, it was ridiculous. There were so many movies about the Ten Commandments that had Caucasians playing the part of Moses. It was ridiculous. And don't believe me, try it and see. So what I want to do today is cut to the is cut to the chase and give you all the Ten Commandments. And I will also give you all the Ten Commandments so you don't have to go through all the trouble I did. The first one, the first of the commandment is thou shalt have no other gods before me. I think that's pretty explanatory. Not to have any other gods before you. That might even equate to religions. Because one thing is for sure, the Christian God, as I've expressed in, in other videos, Christianity has broken five of the Ten Commandments. In fact, it has broken six. Six, because one I didn't mention. But anyway, here we go. Here's number two. And I'm going to, when I finish, I'm going to put up the sheet so that you can um, so that you can write it for yourself but this and i want to give a quick ex explanation of, of one or two of them thou shalt not make number two thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or earth beneath or that is in the water underneath the earth thou shalt not bow down to thyself to them nor serve them for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting, visiting the iniquity of the fathers up, upon the children unto third and fourth generations of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. And that's and what that means is have no other gods or religious beliefs above that of God. And I would have to say that that applies to man-made religions also. Because the only thing that God is asking, asking of us is to follow the Ten Commandments and to have no other gods before us. And if you know the story, when Moses delivered the people out of Egypt and he left, they built a golden calf and they started worshiping the calf. And that's what I mean. And that means do not put money before God. Put nothing before God. That exactly, what, and that is exactly what that means. And he also says that if you don't, you will suffer from the curse, which we all know about. Number three. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Now, a good way of thinking about that is Jesus' name has been taken in vain, and it has been used for Christianity. And what has Christianity done? Christianity has taken the name of God and used it in vain to get people to trust them before they colonize and exploit them, which is which was done with the American Native Americans. And a good example, Thanksgiving. They bought them the teachings of Jesus to, to gain their trust. And once they gained their trust, when they were suffering and about to die out of food, unknowing how to live in this foreign land, Native Americans came to their rescue and saved them. They call it Thanksgiving. Well, we all know 
Native Americans don't even celebrate that. And it says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. No one in thy company shall work, including animals. And this goes on to say, even if you have visitors come to your house, they're not to work. Servants, no one is to work, do any work. They are to rest on the seventh day. Unfortunately, Christianity has us resting on the first day. And really, they don't even have us resting. They have us worshiping on the first day. And actually, the Sabbath is the Saturday, is the seventh day. And we know who have, and those who have hijacked our ethnicity and heritage do just that. Number five, honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land, which the Lord thou, which the Lord thy God giveth thee. And you know what? We should honor our mothers and fathers. But our mothers and fathers have a responsibility to raise us, nurture us, and put us in a position to help them in their old age. They, we should help our mothers and fathers in their old age. But they should take care of us so that we are able to care for them in their old age. Does that make sense to you? Then it says six, thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill. That's obvious. But it doesn't mean thou shalt not defend thyself. It means thou shalt not kill as in starting something. As in starting something. It doesn't mean do not defend yourself. It means do not start. Thou shalt not kill. It doesn't say thou shalt not defend thyself. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Number seven. What does that mean? That means do not desire another man's wife. Do not desire another man's possessions. Do not desire anything anyone else has. Get out there and work for what you want. Don't desire other people's assets. That's wrong. And it's, all it's going to do is lead to thievery anyway. Which is the eighth commandment. Thou shalt not steal. Well, we know what that means. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Of course, that means do not accuse your neighbor of doing things that he has not done. And when we and that also comes under jealousy. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. That's jealousy. That is definitely jealousy. And it reminds me of the movie, Birth of a Nation. Why would they make a movie, Birth of the Nation, put us in black, put themselves in blackface and pretend that to be us? Jealousy. Pure jealousy. Thou shalt not ball fair, fair witness. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. That's pure jealousy. Pure jealousy. The last one. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not co covet, co covet thy neighbor's wife, nor anything that is thou neighbor's. And that means not wanting. Once again, that means not wanting anything that your neighbor has. Not wanting anything that your neighbor has. I think I kind of went over that with thou shalt not commit adultery. Well, adultery is a desire. COVID, I think it means to take. But I tell you what, think for yourself. I've explained this as best I can. But guess what? Think for yourself. Figure it out. Take the dictionary. Look up COVID. Look at Covet, C-O-V-E-T, look up adultery, and then come to the decisions of your own. Because one thing I'm not trying to do is tell you what to do. I want you to think for yourself. Because don't go out here and do something crazy 
and then say, well, I saw this guy on the uh, on YouTube and he said, do this and do that. No, I'm telling you, I'm giving you a shortcut, but I'm and explaining it as, as best I can as I see it. But you know what? Think for yourself. Now, I'm going to put this up here and leave it up here for a second so you can freeze, so you can pause and write it down if that's what you want to do. That's up to three. Pause it. Now that's we should make sure I got the whole thing in there. Let me do it again for you. Now, you, of course, pause it on your computer. Now, the reason why I'm telling you this is because, as you know, this is, we were cursed because we broke God's Ten Commandments for us. The Ten Commandments is what we were supposed to follow. We broke it, and that's why we were cursed. Now, although we know that we are a Hebrew Israelite, let's not repeat the same mistake again. It is important that we do not repeat the same mistake again, because some apples will fall so far from, from the tree where they'll ignore the Ten Commandments. And the reality of the situation Gentiles who follow the Ten Commandments will be God's chosen people as well. Because all, all are called, few are answered. And God, will, and God will judge us not on the color of our skin, but on the content of our character. On the content of our character. With that, I don't want to take any more of your time. And I don't want you to go through what I, all that I went to to find this. If you do want to look for it yourself, it's in Exodus 20 and begin Exodus, Exodus chapter 3, Exodus chapter 20. It begins, in, it begins with verse 3. Have a great day, everybody. God bless you, family. And uh, see you the next time around.